Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at what we have here. This is most interesting. Maybe a, a dream match for a lot of folks. Certainly would be for me. And if Moxley's spoiler for a fight, he may not have to wait long. It seems like those hammer and anvil elbows, Moxley realized that Brian Daniels and the American Dragon has taken an outsized interest in Moxley since his return to action here. Brian's so good at playing mind games. Uh, one of the best, if not the best. Moxley's adrenaline's flowing. His heart is pumping. He's just been through a pretty, pretty Damn solid right. match, man. Yes, sir. But I gotta be honest. Do you guys want to see us fight? Yes. That's what I gotta be honest about. You know, for a long time, I wanted to see us fight too. Because you were different. I wanted to see what you had. But since you've come back, we've seen a new John Moxley. Everybody, give it up for John Moxley. And you see, deep inside of me, there's always been a part of me that wanted to test you. Because I saw you from where I was before. I was watching you. I was watching you as the AEW World Champion. And I don't care what anybody says, you were the best AEW World Champion. And if you had a little support, I think you would still be AEW World Champion. And that's when I realized, that's when I realized that John Moxley and Brian Danielson shouldn't be fighting. We, we should be fighting together. Wow. How about that? Not a bad idea. You see, here's the, here's the deal. Here's the deal. And I know everybody here loves AEW. I get it. I get it, right? I get it. But there is no reason why some millennial cowboy should be the AEW world champion. There is no reason why somebody dressed as a dinosaur should be an AEW World Tag Team Champion. There is no reason why somebody whose main contribution to society is creating a vlog should be the TNT Champion. Listen, Mox, together, together, you and me, we could run this place. Whatever we wanted. If you wanted to be AEW World Champion, you can be AEW World Champion with me. If we wanted to be AEW World Tag Team Champions, we could be AEW World Champions together. If we wanted to take some of these young guys, somebody like Wheeler Yuta, you see, he's, he's coming out here with jokes. He's coming out here with Orange Cassidy, with Danhausen. What if we took somebody like Wheeler Yuta under our wings? What if we took somebody like Daniel Garcia away from 2.0? And we mentored him. What if we took somebody like Lee Moriarty, instead of, instead, of, instead of him being around Matt Seidel and Dante Martin with his high-flying bull crap, what if we took him under our wings and we trained the future of professional wrestling together?
Like it or not, there's a lot of truth in what's yeah. being told. I, I did not expect this at all. Not at all. This is a very compelling offer being laid out by Brian Danielson. You see, even if they don't like me, they like what I'm talking about right now. So, John, I know this is a lot to put on your plate right now, so you don't have to answer right now. I just want you to think about it. I want you to think about the possibilities. I want you to think about all the positive things we can do. I want you to think about the greatness that we can create. and the legacy that you want to leave. Provocative of dialogue, to the, say the least. Man extending his hand. You know, I, Excalibur, he makes a lot of sense. I, I Imagine a world where John Moxley and Brian Danielson listen, listen, are a tag listen. team. I know, I know that's a lot of pressure. Why don't you think about it? A lot to think about for John Moxley. Is that where it's being left? With a wild thing movement? Wow.